What is going on guys and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Today it is another league racing video and it was literally the race of last night in Belgium, Spa. And I felt pretty confident. I felt pretty confident. I was really on it. I, I don't know. I felt the track even though I don't like it. I don't like it in the game. Um, but on the day of the race, a lot of things went wrong. In the morning, I tested setups that I've heard from potential competitors, like what kind of settings they could run. I wanted to see if we could maybe find some more time and it completely screwed up <laughs> my driving style for my own set. And then there was another thing that we had to test and uh, then I didn't have proper warm up because I had bad FPS. And I wanted to fix it and s we somewhat fixed it. It wasn't perfect, but it was better than usual Better than the weeks before so we don't have the same Like low FPS that I usually have and It immediately made me feel more comfortable way more comfortable. I'm telling you It makes such a difference you don't believe it you might want to try it out yourself <laughs> like if you practice with lots of FPS and then with basically none it's just not nice it just gives you the wrong false feedback wrong feel to the car and uh, yeah but anyways we're here in q1 for the official quali no warm-up anymore we're actually on a pretty decent lap not the greatest ever but it's all right uh, split the 14.200 which is also not awful in sector 2 we just gotta bring it over the line, hit the final chicane, and potentially we might not have to go out anymore. Who knows? 42.6 from Yoni. 42.3 from Tomek. 42.15 from Wilson. And we mess up the chicane here slightly. It's not great. It's not awful. And we are going across the line for 142.301. One and a half, 10 oh, slower than Wilson. Uh, Bari with another uh, improvement, still a low one. So we are around one and a half tenths away from the fastest guys right now in hey, the lobby. And the McLaren mix. drivers, they Best were incredibly fast. Like. I think Wilson is also part of McLaren. I'm not entirely sure if he is, but at least he's part of the development program or something like that. And Blakely is behind us and he's not even going for a lap anymore, going for a big risk. Um, I also thought I could maybe stay in. And we made the decision that I should go out once more, not risk it, no point. And so we are going for another lap. Turn 1 wasn't the greatest. Or Rouge was flat out, <laughs> as always. But you can actually gain or lose time in Or Rouge, it's weird. This year there's like a bump in the road and it makes it feel really, really odd. I don't know. Anyways, 0.836 going across the first sector. And we get a little sideways here half a tenth down not great to begin your lap with but we are still finding improvements here already half a tenth up losing a bit of time but we kind of neutralized what we lost in Lecomte and now staying tight a little bit too much curb but we still made up time going through Puhon now keep it in fifth gear for the inside sixth for the left use the curbs Use all the track, brake on the curb, it's really hard to do so. It rotates the car in or you outbrake yourself. And we are currently with a 14.069 split. Very nice, very nice. As we are going for our final run in Q uh, Q1 here. Looks like we are pretty safe though. But we are still going to complete the lap. No point in saving these tires there anyways, used now. And Blakely of course behind us. And we're going across the line with not a great final corner. 154. Okay. This is going to be nice good enough to make it to Q2. Thank you. Easily. Oh, Let's see how it's looking for Blakely. And Blakely in P11. Oh, Still a couple of drivers improving. Improving. Um, Fabrizio is improving for 42.092. We are in P5. Simon Weigang also still no, improving and going across the line into P14. Just barely makes it, but also Blakely, P15, lucky man, a really lucky man, could have really turned the race around. 
Oh man, um, anyways, we are oh, into Q2 and this is of course our biggest struggle. Nine. You know me. Uh, we haven't made it yet to okay, Q3, no but I think it's FPS related, not pace related. On some tracks maybe a bit pace, Diesmal but vergessen, definitely Miami we should have been in Q3 and um, yeah, we just had struggles with our hardware and streaming whilst racing. I don't know, it's just difficult. But anyways, I want to keep up the stream, so we found a solution in some way a little bit better. Unplugged every single monitor and had my MacBook as a chat. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe it does something. I don't know. But yeah, here. Turn one, not too bad for our first run in Q2. We should hopefully qualify us into Q3 this time around. Staying tight on the straight, on the camel straight. Why is it called camel straight? Is it because of, like, on the minimap or rouge it looks like? I don't know. I have no idea. But we are purple in turn one, uh, in sector one. 855. I don't think that's true. It's probably a bug. And we get a bit loose here on the curb. But we carried a lot of speed, so it should be fine. Keeping it in fourth gear. Up into fifth. And making these high gears work. Man is making them work. Seventh gear. Staying tight again. Piotr with the first lap. 42.175. Nobody beating it yet. Or was he actually the first across the line? I don't think so. Maybe I'm maybe I'm blind. I think I'm blind. Um, 40.035, not a bad split. Barry with a 42.027. Uh, we can probably go for a zero as well if we nail the final corner. If not then. We're probably aiming for around the point one again, which is similar to our Q1 time. Now that would not be a bad lap. Would not be a bad lap. Blakely already with a point nine seven nine. We have a somewhat decent chicane. Forty two point one two eight, and we are P three with purple sector three. Not bad. P four now for our final run. And uh, we are of course going for it just because I want to make sure that we are able and well, let's say make it into the queue finally. And we had a good turn one and then a little correction that messed it up, that messed it up. Otherwise we would have had a really good sector one. With that of course it ruins the whole straight yeah, as well and you can see we just randomly also yeah. lose time on our roof because of the bumps. There's like one line that works, but it's super hard to always get it right. It's like invisible. 8 to 6 in sector 1, and now of course we should be able to gain some time here. But actually we don't gain too much. We also have another moment here. Half a tenth up. Staying tight, carrying a lot of speed. Nearly up one tenth, and now through no name we make it actually nearly a tenth. It's just round about, uh, right about, <laughs> round about Milton Keynes, right? Tenth, and also here we barely make any improvement. It's still a tenth. Let's see what we can do in this corner. Keeping it in sixth this time for a bit more traction. Actually worked out. Hard to keep the momentum up though in the higher gears. Fifth gear and a 13.867. We are apparently purple in sector two, which I think is true. So we are looking right now to maybe get a point nine, a high point nine, something like that. Maybe beat. Lucas Blakely's lap time. The McLarens were rapid. I don't think, like, we were convinced our setups were the best before the session. And uh, we got shown otherwise, I think, from the McLarens. They are undoubtedly really great drivers, but I don't think we are lacking talent. I really don't think so. I think all of my team members are nice incredibly Marshall, talented. Nice. And I also know the sake, skill man. of myself. Finally. I told you it's Steph, is, yes. Like, the McLarens are on it. They are oh. incredibly fast. Shout out to them, honestly, they are making a great job and I think for F1 Esports they are so, so far the favorites. Right they are doing oh, great true. stuff, Lucas yeah. and Mario. Oh, Josh is also through! Yeah, he's through, he's through. I'm not, uh. no way. No, I don't, I don't. Whoever, right, fair enough. Blake like in PCL, these McLarens are incredible. <laughs> Let's see where Lucas will go. Ass. Why did Blakely go for another lap? For Barry, he's uh, looking incredibly confident, I mean, he's definitely confirmed for... Holy shit, he went fast. What? what? They already I did a know. 7. 
For the McLaren team, right? He doesn't change. I don't oh know. Nine, nine. But yeah, <laughs> Lucas is nine, nine, strong final sector. as well. I don't know if they are work, working together, but definitely the McLarens <laughs> are quick. rapid. Both of them. Schnell, Alter. And we will also see the same thing in Q3, but we finally made it in Q3. That's already a first, first improvement. Great to see. Really great to see. And... We get on our old tire run a really good weißt turn one. <laughs> I was, I was like, this is exactly how you have to drive turn one, but we don't have the traction to get a good turn one. Uh, God damn it! If we would have had fresh tires, maybe I don't know. We could have already had a great banker. That is the thing. If we would have had two fresh tires and we could have technically made our first run in Q2 and in Q1, we would have been through already on the first runs. <sighs> we would have had a one tire, at least one. That is like fresh for Q3. Maybe build up confident, have one good run and then send it on the final one. Just all in. Don't care. Yeah, 865 from Wilson, that's also quick again. The McLaren development driver. Definitely working with Bari. <laughs> I would assume so. Oh, oh my God, the we were really close to track limits there, but of course it's on the old tires, doesn't really matter. Would, would put us anyways last place. The laptop get over the We're just trying to set the delta. Brandon with an 836, also a great lap time from Brandon Lee there. Let's see. We see one McLaren coming around the corner and crossing the line for. 41.716, nice, all slept down. Yeah, yeah, Holy okay. crap, like, <laughs> I think if we would do a banker 0.7, like anyone within our team, it would be probably a high 7, and that is in practice. And the McLarens just dropped a 7 right here. That's I guess we don't have that setup. fast, man. This is freaking fast. I couldn't believe it. Like, honestly, the McLarens, I, I cannot lie. Like, big shout out to the two drivers here, Lucas and Bari really fast Lucas looked really confident right now and look oh final run this is where we all lost it hey man I can't believe it this was this my first the, the worst first turn I've ever had and you can see migrating host at the bottom that was because Jana was the host and he left to create a new lobby I don't think that's allowed but yeah anyways like the lobby was desync because of that in the end so the last run ruined reifen, egal, focus. but talking about turn one it was so bad now I was full sent like my best Sector 1 was I think a 6, this was a 9.84 as a split, look at this, this is awful. We at least, like, a bad Sector 1 in it would at least be a 7.5 for me, usually. Like, with the final Q grip. Yeah. So we just gotta send it, make the best of it. And we are also doing so, like, giving it our all, trying to send it. Send, 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 send. And I don't know if some of the drivers are actually real or not. We see yellow flags somewhere, so I guess that's a decent car now. And the decent, like, if you guys are doing league races, just tell the host or whoever it is to not leave because it will cause decent. We are purple in middle sector. 8-7-0. Like, with a good turn one, it would have been a low six split. This is so unfortunate. This is so unfortunate. <laughs> but it's all my fault. I take the full blame. This was just me messing up. Nothing else. Now we need to get a good final corner and potentially we can somehow get a decent position. That would be great. I wasn't sure. Crossing the line, I was like, oh, oh, oh. A 952, that is just a bit know, faster than our Q2 time, so no, it's not really great. I choked sector oh, I one like no. never before. I'm going to check my middle sector and I was like, oh, uh, my first sector, I was like, oh my god, this is awful. Dude, final sector, to be, to be fair, also guys, half a tank to slow. Guys. I but did a 984 sector like, one. Oh, I was go. happy with my second sector, not uh, not something. awful. Dude, I had it a 984 in sector yeah. one. I this don't know. Would have easily been two and a half. <laughs> Apparently, I just so I let's just messed up, and this was without the decent the grid. So both McLarens with a 500, 500, 500. This is fast. My my PB in practice is a little bit faster, but like this is my PB in practice with no pressure and nothing. And these guys pull it off here, so close. That is incredible. And now. To the highlight of the race. First of all, she cheesed to the McLarens. We were on P9. Um, we need, we need, we need, we need. We need to have a great strategy. And that's why I was hiding it until the end. 
I will explain to you why I start on the softs. And Josh as well, I, I told him, like, I, like we had the strategy plan. But I was confident this is the right call. And look at the start. Look at it. We are already into P5. Incredible. Marcel Kiefer sending it down the inside of everyone. And now in a rouge. Look at the grip. Look at the man flying. He's incredible. What a driver. And I don't know if it's legal what they are doing. They are weaving. I guess uh, not, but I don't know. Maybe it is. Doesn't, doesn't matter in the end. Like I can still make moves and we are doing another move on Danny Barry's snake. Let's go. Simply lovely. Next up on our target list is Lucas Blakely. The two incredible drivers here. Like, share me your setups, guys, and I won't overtake you. Well, he didn't listen, so here we come. Down the outside, how Crofty would say. For incredible move on Lucas Blakely. And you will see the cheer in my face, like my, my strategy is working so far. And imagine we would have started P4. Guys, I'm telling you, I tested the strategy. I would have been in the lead by around 3 or 4 seconds after lap 1. If I would have been P1 after turn 1. And we would have been P1 after turn 1, I promise you. My start was so good, I would have been ahead of both McLaren at the end of turn 1. And then with the grip difference, I would have had such a great run down the straight. They would have not seen me anymore for a very long time. And at the end of my stint, I'm quite sure it would have been roughly something between 6 to 10 seconds. I don't know. Because I wouldn't have had any traffic. Wouldn't have had to overtake anyone after turn 1. It would have been awesome. But anyways, it was still a great start. Good entertainment, great action. And the reason why I started on the softs, because the softs just last 6 laps, they are useless. They are actually bad tires. Like for a race tire, they are awful. But with the recent patch of Codemasters, with Portimo and everything, they also changed. Also years, Kiefer going for the inside on Barry Bermond and it's P1 after one lap and one sector. Incredible. This, these are all eSports drivers. No matter if they are on hard tires, it was still a freaking awesome first lap. Freaking, freaking awesome. Yeah. Anyways, going back to why I started on this compound. So I was thinking... With the new patch, Codemasters reduced the tire temps at the beginning of the formation lap to 70 degrees instead of 90. And there's a bug that only the host will have the, f the tire temps that he warms up during the formation lap. Everyone else just has their wear, but they will get reset to 70 degrees. So that would mean Jano would have tire temps, nobody else. So we decided to turn formation lap off. That means everybody starts on 70 degree tires. And 70 degree tire soft, 70 degree tire medium, 70 degree tire hards, no matter what, they are all awful. But still the softs have, you could see, such an incredible grip advantage over the first lap. And at the start, look at this, we still pulled away from Bari, the DRS window, even though we, like our tires are slowly fading. They are still faster, of course, but they are slowly fading, it's not perfect. It's, it is not perfect. But our lap time, 44.948, not a bad lap time. Um, yeah, and we are coming in lap 5 with a 2.5 second gap. This is still a good gap. Um, we can't make them last much longer without losing time. And look who learned. We are getting an optimal pit stop. Hey, finally, man. He got it. Yeah, so we are going for the hard compound and driving to the end. 17 laps. At the end of the stint, I can already give you a little spoiler. My tires at the final corner of the race was 75% tire wear. So this... Strategy is on the edge and I believe it was the best strategy of the race if we would have started p4 We would have been in the lead by miles After lap one and after the first stint and then it would have changed zeigen. everything I would have probably been behind Jano right now with like two second difference at the end of this lap It was 6.2 because of cold hearts and now we will see I'm closing in already and on this lap, I also had a huge oh moment God. on this curb. I never had that before in this game, so I was really caught off guard, but we reacted well. All good. Um, it's 5.8 second gap to Jano now, and I will show you over the next few laps. Thank you. Yeah, it's 
coming down, coming down, and we would have probably had DRS earlier then. Or like we would have gotten DRS from Jano at some point, and maybe also overtake him, make it past a couple of cars. Like everything would have been different. I think actually this would have been the, mo I, I, it is for sure the most insane strategy and also the, the ballsiest strategy you've seen in ages. Jake Benham was a medium went for hard. He was also in a good strategy there. And it's 4.1 seconds behind us with five laps fresher hard compound. Brandon has already passed him. Um, he's going for an aggressive undercut on the mediums. They will be dead at the end, but can also work out. 12 laps is fairly easy. Um, Lucas is now also pitting and he's coming out. I think ahead of Brandon. Yeah, and it's a 3.4 second gap. This gap, like, it would be so much bigger. Like, it would probably be around 8 seconds. Ah, it's so annoying. Why did I mess up turn 1 in quality? Guys, this is... This is so annoying. With our not messed up turn 1 in quality, we would have started oh. P4. And then it would have been... G... Jeez. Anyways. We still had an incredible show here. And the race was... Honestly, <laughs> this was the most fun race for me in ages. Um, Barry was now also pitting and we are not trying to hold them off anymore like I'm oh, not trying so to pull away this is anyways not working we have low ERS because I had to push the whole time and now the McLarens are right behind us they will of course go for a double overtake because I have no ERS I have no DRS this is an easy easy pass for them not even a challenge Jano is 2.8 seconds and ahead of us it was 6 seconds after the first lap of the pit stop so we gained three seconds if we would have been closer already ah, there would have been such a potential guys such a big potential to save also ERS again and ah, this is so annoying this would have been nearly a perfect race but we we keep the pressure on the McLaren so they like they need to push to pull away and at the same moment Barry makes a mistake I like I think with our strategy we caught a lot of people off guard and I mean, the McLarens had to work together to now benefit from me being between them and like whoever's behind so they can maybe break away from the DRS and pull a big gap. And I think that's why Barry was pushing, because they knew they had this advantage. Yeah, and he spun. But Barry's not out of the race, you can see at the back, like he, he spun around, recovered quickly. Now we are... We still got the DRS on Lucas, but now I was like, Brandon, give me DRS, give me DRS. Complaining, but in a, in a jokey way. Of course, makes sense that he doesn't want to give me DRS. Unfortunately. And Jano's still staying out. <laughs> Jano went for a really long stint. He tried to go for the softs in the end, I think. So Brandon was the fastest lap. I think actually... Ah oh, man, I, I think I could have gotten the fast lap on the softs at the beginning of the lap, as, uh, at the I beginning of the race back. as well. If it wouldn't have been for yeah, lap one and safe. the little little fight with Bari, like Fuck's compromised sake, line, maybe more ERS. Yeah, Shut. There was so <laughs> much potential, unbelievable, unbelievable. <laughs> and now of course another double pass here because I can't defend. <laughs> Impossible, but I'm trying to stay with Barisnay and Wilson because I also of course noticed there's a three second penalty Jake Benham 2.7 seconds behind. I still have to survive six laps He has five lap fresher hearts and that makes a big difference especially at the end of the race Well, like I said, I had 75% tire wear mm. The issue is Barry's Benham. behind him. Yeah Barry's with his fresh he pitted lap 13 So he has eight lap fresher tires and he has mediums they will at all times be faster than my tires. Way faster. They are like softs compared to hards at the beginning of the race, <laughs> more or less. And so he will, even though he had a spin, still be flying. And Benham will benefit from that as soon as Barry passes him. I mean, Benham is going to be quicker in the corners than me anyways because of his tire advantage, but he will also then be fa even faster on the straight with DRS from Barry. We still manage to stay within the US. range of Beresnay, but not for long, of course. It's gonna be tricky, but I'm hyping up Jano because he's kind of holding them up and making my life a bit easier. I think Jano is now pitting as well. Is he? I think so, yeah. So an Ehrenmann. Going for a six lap soft stint. Doable, of course. Six laps is where the tires die off. Oh, wait, no. Jano will get the fast lap then. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, 
Komm Leute, jetzt hört auf so Aber Assi zu sein, auch DRS muss ich rein getrieben. Perhaps just one more lap, Benham this time, without DRS, so Was we can euch, pull Kekos away. Los? I also don't know why Benham lost time. Habt ihr alle Schiss vom Kiefer oder wie? Maybe it was already because of DRS. But now you can see Beresnay and Wilson pulling away, unfortunately. Alle If we could have somehow gotten more DRS, it would have been so easy. This whole race would have looked like, I think we would have kommt da, ey, ohne definitely been in the fight for P1. And we would have had a safe I'm podium. And now Barry pulled Benham with him. Benham is right far. behind us. Barry, of course, getting past easily. Come on, Barry, give me the We got in lap 21. We still managed to get one more time DRS from Barry. Yes! And behind us, there's one a fight between Tomek and Benham. Benham is getting past Tomek. And of course, we we're just trying to hold on to lap, uh, to P6. And just maybe even lap. with Barry's penalty, get P5. We start at P9. This is a great recovery, especially with that aggressive strategy that we picked. And Blakely benefited a lot from my strategy there earlier. Like he, he definitely had this this gap, and now everyone was fighting. And yeah, I don't know what happened to Brandon actually. He was somewhat close to Lucas at one point. And look at Benham. Benham is now within the arrest range technically. He still doesn't have it. Now this is the most important corner. He has of course more grip. But we managed to get an incredible turn one, considering our tires. Benham got choked. And Benham ben choked. choked it. <laughs> Unlucky. Yeah, Benham. I had a I think that's what Janus just called him. Yeah. We managed to keep him off the DRS range. And guys, the chat and the Twitch stream, that was so much nicht. fun. The hey, German community, oh my god. Tut mir leid, Leute. If, if there are any Germans here watching, You know that I also have a ich German channel where I commentate in German and do every video in German and I stream in German. German, German, German. I love you guys. You're so freaking insane. There's of course some internationals also watching, but like predominantly I have Germans in my chat and everywhere. It's so cool. Like uh, the support is nuts. I love you guys. I love you so much. Thank you very much for all the love that you show me. It's so much fun. And even though this wasn't a win, it felt like a win. This year feels like a win because the strategy was the winning strategy, for sure. And without my mess up in quality, they would have been in for the fight with Lucas Blakely in the end. It would have been super, super interesting to see. And I think everybody was a bit surprised by my strategy call. And probably thought it was stupid, but in the end they realized, hey, this was actually a smart call. It was a smart call. For sure. Really, come, really come, fun come, stuff. Come, come. Holt auf, Especially Mann, lap one auf, felt great. <laughs> felt like so. a god against esports drivers, against my competitors. Really fun. Yeah. And we managed to fend off and hold off the five lap fresher, hard compound driver, Jake Benham. And we barely Nein. miss out on Barry's name. Oh, that was a bit frustrating. Alter. Anyways, it's what it is. <laughs> it was a fun race, it was nice a cool. Pass, no? Cool call. We made it to P3. We covered from P9 to P6. It's not a bad, and it's all on track. Um, ballsy strategy. Good pace in overall. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Hey, Leute, I sag euch ganz ehrlich, das Rennen war unterhalten. I would like to win. And we had the pace to win. Überlegt euch mal, wir hätten weiter vorne gestartet. Was wir für eine Lücke gehabt hätten mit der Strategie. But yeah, the support was insane. And now we're also going to react to what the PCL commentators were saying. Also, if you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Like the video for the algorithm. Leave a comment if you want to either. And also, you can check out the socials because I'm quite active there. Mit Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, I love you guys. Thank you for the support, really. I appreciate it a lot. Without you guys, I couldn't geil. be doing all of this. Geil, 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 geil. It means the world to me. Um, Seriously. Like thank you, thank you that? very much. You guys are the best. Oh, so you had to, to <sighs> this was so fun. This was a great race. Oh, gosh, yeah. I'm excited. I'm stoked. Hey, I'm YouTube stoked. Upload more yeah. I think this is the right word. Stoked, right? Yeah. Now let's listen to what PSGO is saying. Soft tires ah. everywhere. Ah. It's not the hard compound tires. He's flying through them. Look at this. Marcel Kiefer trying to make use of these soft tires early on. Josh Idu as well on the soft tires. Battling with Jake Benham. Gets himself through as they come through Pua. But Marcel's got so much grip. They've got oh. no tire temp. Here comes Marcel Kiefer. On Here comes Marcel Kiefer. 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 Through goes Hamilton kind of style. That's echt gesagt, ey. Meme yeah. is real. It was cool. Also great move, like, yeah. Great race. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wish you a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for the support. Dave, danke dir für Take care. You're Marcel. Peace.